Hi, this is Tweek. In this episode, we're going to make a quickie project using a half cluster ball to make a beaded Santa. The project supplies you'll need are, you'll need some beads, you'll need wire, some four inch head pins, various findings, various jewelry findings, and some wooden Santa beads that I got online. So let's get started. To make this Santa, the beads I got online were his little belly and his little head. And what I'm going to do is take those two pieces and augment them with beads and let's put him together. We'll start with his feet and his legs. That's a four inch head pin. Then I'm gonna take three beads to create a foot. A little teeny bead on the bottom represents the toe and keeps everything from falling off the pin. And then I've got two graduating size beads that will make his foot. I'm gonna bend that upwards a little bit and I'm gonna add a bead cap, which to me represents a cuff. Now usually I put a little teeny white bead and that represents a toppy, snowy part of his cuff, if I can get it in there. Okay, we're that far with his boot, and now I'm gonna come up, since this pin is gonna take care of both legs, I'm going to start stringing some glass red beads. Now the little beads are a little bit harder to work with, just that they're tiny, tiny, tiny. And I'm gonna go up, let's see, on this one here, I went up six beads, just as long as you repeat on both sides. I'm gonna give it a few more, because we're gonna bend this, and then repeat the pattern back down. So if that was six on that side, three, six, let's go six. This is a leg, and take my curling plier and just buddy up next to that bead and come back down. Okay, now I'm gonna repeat the pattern. So that's six red beads, nice bright beads. And then putting a little teeny pearly bead to be his snowy cuff. Okay, now we're gonna put the little cuff bead. And now we're gonna repeat the pattern with the feet. Put the biggest bead, then a medium sized bead, then a small bead. I have just enough left here to make a little hook. I'm gonna take off some of that because I don't want too big of a hook there. And just curl that down. Oh, come on, curl it down. Here we go. And give it a squeeze. That holds everybody in place. So you've got his legs. I'm gonna bend that foot up there are Santa's legs. Now we start stringing. See how far we can get here. We start out with his legs and a piece of wire. So I'm using my 0 0.018. I like to use this length wire. And this wire, I'm not going to use a whole lot of it. Probably about eight inches or so. This is going to hold them all together and leave a little loop at the top so we can hang him. Oh, we start with our length of wire. And we put these guys, look for the center spot where the two legs are, push the wire right between the two beads. It isn't secure now, but it will be because they are the first thing we string on there. Next comes a little bead. I like to call it pantaloons, <laughs> but what it is, it's a little shiny bead cap, whatever you're choosing, and it helps to hide the space where his legs come together. And then this is just a decorative. I consider this like the rough of his coat. So we're that far going along. Now we come to the bead that's painted like Santa's middle, his big round belly. I got that far. Next comes some findings. Now these are just random findings. I had bead caps that I wanted to give Santa a little bit of a collar, you know, something more festive than just the plain beads against each other. So I put that one down. Let's see how Santa's getting built up. And then this one. Now this one 
X also is a little bit spacer because now I'm going to add his arms before I put his head on. And his arms, you lay down there, Santa, his arms are again a four inch head pin and we're going to construct his arms. Whatever you do on one side, you're going to leave a space and continue on the other side so he has a right and left arm. So I'm starting with a little green bead. It could be any color that you want, but that represents his mitten or his hand. And then I put something decorative. Let's see, I think I had this, just a bead cap spacer, and then a rondelle bead. I just thought that was really pretty. It gives him a fancy cuff. And then just throw on some red beads again. And on here, I think I put, oh gosh, five, six, seven of them. So let's go. Could put a little bit of white there. Oh, yep, I did forget that. Put a little piece of white there, a white pearly bead. Okay, we got one here. Grab another white one for the other side. Okay, so now we go with our red beads. So I'm going to do six or seven, and then I'm going to repeat the pattern down. We put a little bit of a curl in the wire to separate the two. Your choice of beads, whatever color you'd like, whatever color of red you'd like. I like to go with red with Santa's suit. I've got three, six, seven beads there. I'm thinking when I curl it around, that might be too many. I'm going to reference my guy over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to pull one off just to be cautious. Now I'm going to take my curling and I'm going to put a circle or a curl in the center. Think of like the end of a safety pin. I'm going to curl it around and that's going to be like his neck. It's a nice secure place for his arms won't run into each other. Okay, so that's what we have there. That's one little arm. And flip this over and repeat the pattern down. So we've got six red beads. Get the right red beads here. I've got little pony beads here too. a little bit left here to make a little loop. Now that comes in handy. You can put something, you can hang a bell or something in his hand. And right now I'm just going to curl it down because he looks just fine without anything in his hand. Just a little loop there for possibilities. Okay, now we've got Santa's arms. little neck space. That's what's going to get strung next on his body. But I want to take this and take my pliers and hold steady on that spot in the center where his neck is. And I'm just going to bend his arms, bend the wire a little bit so his arms come down. Because I'd like this to sit flat on the bead, his neck bead. So you have that little flat spot. Now we add him to the wire. Put both the wires through that little spot. And there his alarms hang. See how cute that is? Now to cover that spot up, I use another bead or another finding or whatever this decorative bead cap is. And I, you can manipulate these a little bit if you'd like. I'm going to punch down, curl it just a little bit over his arms. Seems to looks more like a collar. What do you think? Here we go. Next comes his head. Make sure you put his head on the right way. <laughs> his head. Almost done, Santa. How are you feeling? He looks pretty jolly to me. Now we need to make his little teeny... Um, I want a little bit of a rough there, and I'm going to do that very quickly with some wire. Just a little bit of wire, and I need nine little pearly beads. So let's do this here. Nine, I found, goes around the circumference of this bead. And that's going to represent the rough of his cap. I am using both plastic and glass beads on this ornament. This is super easy because all you do is string on the beads. Make sure I've got nine, four, Nine. Then I'm just going to make a couple of knots. And pull it tight. Everything seems to be slippery to me today. 
and get that knot in there. And I'm going to use the pliers to tighten it up. Okay, I'm going to do, I think that's good. And then I'm going to snip that close. Now this is just going to sit on the top of his head. See? And I kind of want to hold it in place. So I'm going to, see how that swings around a little bit? I'm going to put a bead there. That will not only help hold that in place, it's a bigger red bead I'm using, but it will also support the cluster ball. We're finally getting to the, be the cluster ball, beaded half cluster ball. And that's this. If you'd like to learn how to make one of these beaded half cluster balls, click the link here. So that, getting to the end, put on the beaded cluster ball half. And that sits over the bead and kind of cups in with his hat. See that? And to finish him off, how are you looking, Santa? Are you all flipping around here? There he goes. How are you looking? Oh my goodness. I'd say you're looking very good. I want a bigger bead on the top as his pom-pom on the top of his hat. Oh, legs are flipping around. And then all you do now is add a crimping bead. Oh, didn't need two of them, but maybe we will put an edge on this here. Okay, so get the crimping bead down. He's all in alignment and he'll swing around a little bit, but, and I'm gonna crimp that bead. And he's done, save for one more thing. <laughs> Little legs wanna flip around. Okay, I'm gonna take that other crimping bead and crimp just a little bit, a couple fingers worth, so I have a place to hang him. the excess and what do we have here oh my goodness Santa look at me how are you doing <laughs> the little legs are flapping around but and there you have it our little Santa Claus is beaded he's got his half cluster ball cap on the top and He's got friends, so depending on how you put them together makes each one a little more unique. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell so you know when the next episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, ho ho, get making these Santas. You can make earrings, no, hang them on your tree is the best. See you again.